um, from there, you know, the next thing is, have you gone to any internships or any jobs uh, so far? Yeah, and I have a pretty depressing story with my internships. Uh, so, so I started, uh, I started hardcore studying for my internships, I think 10, nine months ago. And my, so I just completed my sophomore year mm -hmm. and the first half of my sophomore year, like the first semester of it, I took really light and easy classes. The mm -hmm. second half, I took like all of the hardest classes in once. Thank God I got, a, I came out of it alive. But the first half, I took really easy classes because my uh, goal was to spend all my time studying for coding interviews and, and then get an internship, right? So... I spent a lot of time studying for my coding interviews. This is also like my first time ever studying for coding interviews. So I never even ex had any experience with hash maps and binary search trees and stuff like that. Now I've actually completed my data structures and algorithms class, but back then I hadn't, I haven't. Mm -hmm. So I spent all my time studying and in total, I think I applied to like 300 companies for internships mm -hmm. because internships are extremely competitive. Yeah. Uh, so I had a few good interviews. Uh, I interviewed with, with Facebook. I interviewed with Bloomberg. Mind you, I was a sophomore. Mm -hmm. uh, Bloomberg, I didn't even understand. I had this guy with an accent, like the strongest accent you could think of. <laughs> to this day, I don't know what the question was. To this day, I don't know what he was talking about. Like, I, I can't have to ask, what are you... And I don't know, he just didn't like me. And we yeah. ended an interview early. And I, I, they told me I, I'm not getting it. Uh, and then Facebook was extra depressing. Mm -hmm. So so here's a little here's a little life hack for people listening. Uh, there's this website. So everyone knows what lead code is. But there's this thing called lead code premium. Where you pay an extra 35 a month. And you can sort companies by, uh, you can sort questions by companies that ask them. Something like, mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, right? Yeah. So I, I got lead code premium for Facebook and I, I read all the, like most, I, I read all the questions that are most frequently asked by Facebook mm -hmm. and I learned like the top 50 and all my friends <laughs> who got asked uh, interview questions by Facebook got asked questions straight from the top 10, <laughs> but they didn't know about lead code premium and I didn't tell them about it. So they failed it. Mm -hmm. But if I had gotten those questions, I would base it. But I ended up getting a question that, first of all, doesn't even exist on lead code. Like, I don't know, <clears throat> he just made up a question. So that was the first way things went <laughs> wrong. And then second of all, it was dynamic programming. And dynamic programming is like one of the hardest topics. Mm -hmm. So, and the third thing is I actually answered it optimally, yeah. but I didn't answer it as optimally as everyone else who read yeah. the questions on lead code beforehand. So I didn't get yeah. it. Yeah. So Facebook rejected, Bloomberg rejected. But eventually down the line, I think like four months later, I eventually did get a pretty good internship. Uh, I don't know if I want to reveal the company, but it was in California. And I was so excited, like so excited. And they're talking, we had like hundreds of interns and they were talking about how we're going to do all this and do that. And it's going to have all these events. But what ended up happening is, a few weeks, maybe a month before the internship, uh, they said that due to coronavirus, it is the entire thing is canceled, oh. and I lost my internship. Oh, so my I, God. I had no, I have no internship now, <laughs> and that, that sucks. I worked so hard for that. That sucks. That that's like one of those moments where it's like when I I see people because I live nearby a high school, and when people were like graduating, they had those drive by freaking graduations and i'm like yo this shit is so sad and i'm like thinking in my head i'm like how many people were working hard to graduate or go to an internship or go to this first job right and it's like hey by the way here's a little corona you know it's like sorry kiddo try next year you know and like <laughs> did they ever tell you like are they gonna bring you back in for once the, the whole thing clears up or oh they just been no like, it's it's devastating um I think the most frustrating part is some people's internships became remote and some people's became canceled. Mm -hmm. So in the grand scheme of things, now I'm behind mm -hmm. because 
for me to be ahead or at least at the pace of like people that do get into school, I would need the sophomore internship. Now, it's not like universally nobody has it, so I'm okay. It's that some people have the prior experience, and I don't mm-hmm. have prior experience now. Yeah. So it really fucked me. They yeah. said that they would. Uh, they said that they can defer to next year, but then I, I, I they're pulling it out of their ass because yeah. a few <laughs> we weeks before know. they cancel it, a few weeks before they cancel it, they said uh, they're like it's not going to be canceled, guys. If anything, it'll go online. That's what they told us, and yeah. then they canceled it, <laughs> uh, and then. And then on the phone call, when they're telling me that it's canceled, they're like, but we will give you the option to defer it to next year. So then I emailed them. I'm like, hey, you guys said that you can make it next year. Could I have a formal letter, like a formal offer for next year? That's mm-hmm. what I asked. Reasonable, it's a reasonable thing to ask, right? Mm-hmm. You have a formal offer for next year. Then they say, well, unfortunately, we can't give you a formal offer for next year we'll we'll kind of have to see what happens so basically basically oh, they're telling me to go fuck myself like yeah. there's no way uh, i don't think they're gonna give me anything <laughs> damn yeah. that sucks bro uh you know sorry to hear that you know but at least the way how i look at it is like at least you got in you know everything was good you know this you know little things that happen in, in life that you know you can't do nothing about it. God forbid you're driving, you get into an accident, you can't walk for the next six months. It's like one of those situations where it's like, okay, you had an internship, but now you can't walk to go to to the internship. It's out of your hands. You know what I'm saying? You you did everything that you were supposed to and you did it right. And um, you did get the opportunity, you know? Um, but hopefully everything goes good, especially now if you if you do take that uh, that year gap now you could probably go into an internship and be like, hey, let me do, I'm not going to school. Put me in, coach. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if everything goes good uh, with freaking corona and stuff um, in the next few months. But, yeah, man, that's crazy, you know? That's that's like one of those situations you were like, you tell your kids, was like, you guys have it good because you didn't have to go through <laughs> through the coronavirus. Like, yo, that's crazy, bro. Even you as a student, got affected yeah. by this whole thing somehow it's no, the timing is so bad because like think about it the first 19 years of my life i never had an internship mm-hmm. the one year i get an internship also has to be the exact one year that the coronavirus happened you know wow like yeah. it perfectly lined up mm-hmm. like if, if it were if it was any year before this before this year any year before it it wouldn't have affected me as hard as it did this year. This mm. was the one specific year that it, that yeah. I needed that to not happen. And, but yeah. yeah, like you said, it's out of my hands. I'm yeah. not really thinking about it anymore. I'm not, well, I'm just focused on my YouTube thing right now. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, that's, that's the best thing. You know, that's one of the things like, um, I started my YouTube channel because I was like super depressed in 2016. My sister passed away and I just, sorry dove my head into like YouTube and like working every single day just to keep my head out of stuff. And then, you know, with, with work, it feels like you kind of forget. It's like, you know, when you're busy, time flies by. And when you're not doing nothing and you're just standing around, time is super slow. So the best advice that I can give you is like, yo, keep busy, keep working, keep doing your thing. I mean, you're going to get all of this regardless. You know, it's not like one of those things where like, damn Trent black you know freaking guy into an accident like he he now is i don't know he's disabled or something it's like okay this is something that you still have all your knowledge you 